Right. So I'm not saying that. that he's been abusing her, that she's been abusing him, or they've both been abusing the kid. Just outside of that situation, there could be a pattern without anybody outside of the two of them, or the three of them, because the kid's going to be seeing shit too, knowing what's going on. Just because no. you haven't seen police reports or haven't seen like a hospital record doesn't and I, mean that something wasn't happening. And, the and, two of them. and I agree. So there could be a pattern without that. And it could be, like Joe said, there's been people who've been abu- like super physically abusive to somebody and then they're peaceful with them for a little bit and then all of a sudden they blow up and they go back to being physically abusive on somebody. Right, right, right. But, and, but, and I'm not... I don't want to play... De- it's, not, it's not even devil's advocate because it's not the correct term, definition of that. And I don't want to make light of the fact that he put his hands on a woman outside of him grabbing her the one time. There's no other instance of abuse. How do you no, know? No, 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 no. I, 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 I get, I get, but I knew, I knew everybody's, I knew everybody's gonna say that. That's why I knew everybody's gonna say that. I, I, I get it. And there's also no documentary. There's no documented proof of her abusing him either. We can go. We can go the other way. Most men who get abused are not going to report it to anybody. Correct. So as, like, as a man who's been punched in the face several times, I will say yes. You're correct. Well, there you go. He just reported it. Hey, somebody give me help. But it happened fucking 15 years ago. So what's going to happen? <laughs> well, no, no, no. You need Stop. somebody to talk to, dog. No, I don't want to talk to anybody. No, 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 no. I don't. That's why. That's why. I like my words are. My words are like. I, I that's why. That's why I took a deep breath because it's like. In this day and age, there's no way to say it correctly or properly. And also, why I say, and I also, I also pointed out too that people don't go get help. People don't do this, don't do that. I've been, I've been deployed yeah. with soldiers like before we get deployed, where it's like my husband did this and this and that to me, and it's like, uh, you need to go talk to somebody. And it's like, I don't want him to get in trouble. He's in the military, know. and it's like, yeah. I don't know what to do because I can't report it for you. I'm not part of that. I'm just I'm just here for the mental health aspect of it, and by doctoring, right. I can't report it to you, report it for you. Right. And and that's what I see happening here. Yeah. No no because no no no. Yeah. Go ahead. In, in, in a Kareem Hunt situation, you had a the party was an outside party. You know what I'm saying? The 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 woman who was kicked, and right. there was obvious video uh, footage of this, because yeah. it, it, it was done in a quasi public place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Whereas but but he also go ahead. Sounds like, sounds like it was done, done in a home, right? I believe so, but they had Where to take right. probably probably likely wouldn't be surveillance footage, at least not available to no whoever asked for it, right? And but, so, uh, what I'm saying to you is, unless this woman is ready to be out, but it, I feel like what's gonna happen is they all dude, you're gonna stop the meal ticket. No, but I will, I will also... Not only the meal ticket, this. but a lot of women stick around because if they leave, if they are being abused and they leave, especially in somebody with somebody high profile like this, who knows what's going to happen to them after they leave. So she might be trying to keep it... If something is happening to her, which we don't know if it is, she she's not going to leave the situation, more than likely. And also, right. but let's not forget, though, let's not forget also that Tyreek Hill... Or and his wife or girlfriend, whatever she presents as, brings a child with a broken arm to the ER room, and one person thinks that it looks suspicious. They can report it. Your mandatory reporter. Yeah, well, yeah, that's um, nurses. All nurses are like that. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, like, and, 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 and like today, like dog, today, I was, I was like, I got nervous. I was out with my fucking two year old, and he was about to fall. I grabbed his arm, and he twisted mm-hmm. funny. And oh boy! And, on, yeah. and, and the only reason why I thought about it because I knew this is what we like. Cause this is like around the time I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some. It was before Joe hit me up to talk about we should get on tonight. Well, asking like, what's going on, but I was like, oh, and I talked to ADA like, oh, I want to get on tonight. And but like, cause so of course this shit was in my mind, and I was like, goddamn, what, what happens if I gotta take Ellis to the emergency room and my big black ass show up with this child with a broken arm? Yeah. Oh yeah, that yeah. It ha- I mean, it, it it does happen. No, it 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 happens no, no, it, I mean, a, a lot. As a nigga who worked in the ER, it happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, and, and all it takes is one nurse to go in there and go, "That looks suspicious," and they got and they yeah. go report it. 
And you ain't gotta be a part of you, and you ain't gotta be a part of the case. Six three nigga go. Like, hold on, black fathers aren't involved in their children's lives? Why is he here? Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You are exactly right, my brother. But like, yeah, but but but, but, but not to make that yeah, okay, my bad. Getting back to the point, it's like so everyone's pointing out there are a, a bunch of avenues and it's fucked up. It's fucked up from the standpoint of the child, but it's, it, but the invest, but the fact that the investigation has been going on for almost two weeks, and nothing happened. W- I mean, it, it could be that it could be the, it could be Tyreek Hill and the mother standing there saying no, no, no. It could be the mother and Tyreek Hill saying no, no, no. And it could be the fact that Tyreek Hill and the mother saying no, the baby was out fucking about to fall down the hill. Mm-hmm. As Ellis was about to do today, and we grabbed him, yeah. and his fucking yeah. arm broke. Yeah, yeah. Like, like what happened today? Ellis had a Ellis had a coat on, and I grabbed him, and the coat twisted funny, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, and I was like, "God damn!" And like he he, he stood up, and was like, "Oh, I'm good." I was like, "Hey, that's all good." <laughs> <laughs> Thank I you. Remember, I remember we we got a um, James and I have a, a mutual acquaintance. You know, somebody he used to date. Yeah, back in the day, and uh, you know this young man is a, a senior in high school now. But when he was, you know, a kid, we would take him out to the Royals games, and we would sit. We were sitting in seats that were right above the uh, the walkway, and so this, this this dude probably three somewhere between three and five was leaning over the the <laughs> the rail mm. to see what was going on down below to the point where he almost fell. So I had to snatch him by his arm. Yank his back, yank it back up, and his head bounced off the pole. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know exactly so, what happened now. <laughs> dude, that, I mean, so that that's dude. If we had to go through the emergency room, that could have definitely looked funny. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, kids do some things sometimes, and it, uh, it may. I don't know. I mean, that's and that may. Hey, we, he, we may not get to the bottom of that. Even know. though she was beating the shit out of us, I mean, she wasn't beating the shit out of us to the point where I was fucking myself up. But I know for a fact that people in the emergency room at the Humana, they used to be back on fucking, uh, what was that? What was that Warnell? And 103rd yeah. back in the, uh, well, now it's a whole different building, but back in the day, yeah. that, across from that quit trip, you know, you know what I'm talking about, across from that quit trip, yeah, I know they what I know. probably thought Brendan Winston was fucking me up because my dumb black ass was trying to skateboard down hills, trying to build homemade ramps in the front yard, uh, trying trying to jump in niggas' yards and and run away from they fucking dogs to see if I can get out fast enough. Uh, let's see, jumping down the stairs and hitting my head on the ceiling, nigga, and fucking get <laughs> knocking myself unconscious. There, there were numerous times she was like, "I should fuck you up just for the simple fact that people are gonna think I'm fucking you up." That is a quote from <laughs> that is a quote from Brenda Winston. I can get her on the podcast to say, "Yes, I said that." All that said. All that said, no, no, never, no, no. We were just bringing forth the. Not, it's not even debate. Just trying to bring forth all avenues of discussion. If Tyreek did that, fuck him. If his wife or girlfriend, whatever, did that, fuck them. There's a child involved in that, and that's all that matters to me. I don't give a fuck how many touchdowns that niggas catch. I don't give a fuck what he does for Kansas City. If that nigga broke a fucking three year old's arm or anybody's arm for that fucking that matter, fuck them. If he's been beating his wife for the last three or four fucking years, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? So let's just put that out there for anybody to say anything. Cause, yeah. well, here's, here's, the que- here's the question then. Yes, sir. Is he innocent until proven guilty or guilty we, until proven innocent? In the state, yes. it, well, as far as when it comes to child laws, when it comes to children and how that's defended, you are guilty until proven innocent. Every other, every other place is... Every other thing, as far as like adult law, if for dealing with adults, just is isn't to prove guilty. But when I work with children, nigga, you had to leave the, you had to leave the facility until they figured out that what you did. All right. So okay, in terms of that. Oh, you, I mean, I mean, but you, but you mean as far as public opinion? My bad. Yeah. That I, was... I mean, any any of it. I'm I'm talking about should he be playing in the NFL? Should he be collecting a check? Should he be, you know, achieve? what would I'm I'm gonna go with? What would they do for Robert Kraft? That's what I'm gonna do from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but real talk though, uh, shit, shit. 
I don't know. It, it's so it's so it's, it's, it's so different from that's, like what what, yeah. what we seen from everything else. With Kareem Hunt, you got videotape. With uh, Ray Rice, you got videotape. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. And it, I, I, damn, that's a good question. Fuck, Joe. I don't know. I'm like 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 I don't. If if it's a thing of there's been no charges pressed and it's still an investigation. I don't think you should. Even if he was playing for some other team, I put it's, it that way. If he playing for some other team, I would say he still gets to play. But if it comes out that, that nigga did, he got to go. Yeah, no question yeah. that he got to go. Like, like so up until then, I'm like up until then, like 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 with the with, on this podcast, everything else we don't we don't really like it for the most part. We don't explode nor react. We just usually go. Eh, we'll see what happens. So I'm I'm gonna be, right. I'm gonna be there with it. I grant it. I take his past actions into account, mm-hmm. and I and I get for the most part I get for the most part that people who beat women or whatever the fuck rape women do everything they move at a certain level. Then I also go that other things may or may not come up from other women, whatever. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question, dog. I mean. All I can say is, if this nigga broke this kid's arm, if this nigga's put his hands on his wife or any other woman for that matter, he gotta go. That's all I know. Up until yeah, then, I'm, up until then, I'm, I'm gonna be like, I'm just gonna see. But it, it's just, it seems crazy that the investigation is taking this long. That's the part that doesn't make sense to me. Because usually the NFL got some real, but but, uh, but also if the NFL don't want to see shit, <laughs> they ain't gonna see shit. Cause they like niggas, niggas across the people across the league love Tyreek. Yeah, yeah. So that's one of them scary things too, where it's like that Ray Rice shit. Because mm-hmm. Ray know who killed that nigga that night. <laughs> <laughs> but Ray be talking real good, like niggas need to act right. Like hold on, Ray. You was a you a coppers to a murder, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna tell me it'd be right? Hey, that's like that shit from uh, uh, Black Dynamite. But Black Dynamite, <laughs> I sell drugs to the black community. <laughs> so yeah, we, I'm laughing, but yeah, I don't know. I, like it, I, I, it'd be that thing where I don't know. I look at my like and, and me, and it's like I don't know if I don't know. Oh, it's one of them things, dog. Like a nigga has been accused of something that a nigga has not done, and if it and if it came out to light that somebody said, "Well, you did this," and I couldn't work anymore until I was proven innocent, I but I don't know how to prove that that, that that innocence, dog. All I can do is say I didn't do it. Yeah, I, I don't. Be, be, I don't. I don't know. I, I have. Yeah. I have never known that person intimately. That's all I know. Mm. So, but it, but then it'll be that thing though, right? We be we be here, and y'all be like, my nigga Roger, he ain't never had no incident before him. He ain't never did shit before him. Mm-hmm. But then we go, but niggas who do this move quietly and silently, and it's like, I guess, but I I I'm, I'm never. All right. So I don't know. What what, the, what uh what does the lady of lavender? The lady of lavender. What does she feel about that? She <laughs> about which part? I, I I don't know. I think part of me is even wondering if it's already been figured out and they're trying to figure out how to spin it. So maybe they're already saying he did it, but they're trying to figure out how to spin it so he can keep playing. That's true. Or maybe, that too. Maybe, maybe trying to take the, tell the wife to yeah, take, take the know. charge. Yeah, that's true. I think that he. No. it is a hard situation because with kids, it's always... Because of the mandatory reporting, you you do have to prove that you're innocent, which is harder than prove harder than proving that you're guilty, right? So it's I don't know. I don't know if I think he should be allowed to. Well, it's off season right now, but he should be able to keep playing until he's officially proven guilty if he did something. But I don't the, know. It's but, a hard situation because we don't have information. But the it thing, has been a minute, so but the, so who, the big question is why is it taking so long to figure this out? And then there's that leads to all these questions about what could potentially be going on. 
It's just a lot. But the plot twist is that he's up for a new contract. So that that's the that's the that's the that's the